Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm back today with another affordable, cute, cheap activewear try-on. Today, absolutely everything we've got here, including today's outfit, is from Forever 21. I bought all of this stuff online and I actually didn't realize I bought quite so much stuff, so I really want to jump into things. But first things first, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for me right now. Make sure you have post notifications turned on so you never miss a video again. And make sure you're following me on Instagram for daily health, wellness, and fitness tips. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so our first outfit today is leggings, sports bra, and top. And I actually, all of the tops that I have today are the same top, just in a different color. I guess I was just really feeling that top when I saw it online. but. Starting with these are in like a, these leggings are high waisted. They are up above my belly button, which is really nice. They were really difficult to get on because I believe this middle seam right here is really tight and it's the same length for your like quads as it is for your hips or butt and mine are, that's not the same. So it can't go through a small space the same as it does in a large space. So that was a little bit tricky, but on, they're feeling okay to me. They're, they are high-waisted. I think they could maybe be a little bit more high-waisted, maybe a little bit more flattering. I will say that I predominantly bought these leggings also because they're high-waisted, like that's a big factor for me, but I was really into this color. I hope it's translating really well. The lighting right now is kind of weird, but this color is really pretty, like a soft gray purple, if you will, so I am excited about that. In terms of fit, however, I'm not sure I'm really loving these, and I don't think they're the most attractive on the front side. They're kind of giving me like a lot of front section, which I am not really a fan of. Moving on to this shirt, it is supposed to be a crop top, but I can't really figure out like how I'm supposed to wear it necessarily. So the length of it is really interesting. It's kind of neither good or bad. It just sort of like is what it is. It came tied, so it seems like it could sit here on top of my leggings or you could pull it down a little bit. So I guess that's nice in terms of like versatility of the product. I like the V-neck and it's just otherwise a comfortable t-shirt. I don't know if I would work out in this even though it is advertised as activewear just because it is pretty cottony. So I think I would just sweat right through it. <laughs> Moving on to our first sports bra. This is a low impact sports bra. It has a really pretty detail in the back, which is definitely a selling point to me. I like a little bit of detail in my sports bras. It is low impact, so I will give it that, but I'm thinking I maybe should have gotten it in a larger size because it's pretty tight for being low impact. I don't really feel comfortable and I feel like low impact bras are like loungy, sloungy. So this isn't something I would really want to lounge in. Like I feel like I want to do that a lot. I got this in a medium, which is my typical sports bra size. I think it's really pretty. I like the soft, dusty, rose, mauve, whatever color you want to call this. So I do really like the color. I kind of like the color with these purple pants, but again, you can really tell how not super flattering these pants are and they're also this is creating a little pinch right here so i guess i could do a different outfit and maybe i wouldn't get that much of a pinch to start i'm definitely more of a fan of the color of these clothes than i am the functionality or the fit of these clothes okay on to our second outfit another pair of high-waisted leggings these are in more of a forest green color and that same gray shirt i was just wearing but this time in black and this shirt was $14.90, so for a cotton t-shirt that is tieable, I guess, um, that's a pretty good t-shirt for that. It does come undone though, so I have retied this one myself. I'm not sure if I've done the cutest job of it, like with this sticking straight out, but it just kind of uh, is what it is. I guess I'll have to YouTube like how to tie a shirt back up. But I like the color of these leggings. I like the feel of these leggings. They are much more of a performance, like that wicking feel of a fabric. So that's nice. They were a lot easier to get on than the like periwinkle leggings that I was just wearing. I think they're really cute as an outfit. I think this is really cute. I like where this shirt is hitting on my butt. I like just how this is working. I think it's a very like fall vibes kind of outfit. Obviously it's like getting closer to, well it is spring now, it's getting closer to summer, but I would probably still wear this anyways. Again, this shirt is really just a shirt, but I like that it 
is tieable. I don't have a lot of shirts that are made to be tied, so I like that as an option, but I wouldn't wear it untied because, I guess I can just show you, it looks, this is what it is untied, so it's obviously meant to be tied up. Um, I'm just not totally sure. I wish it wasn't like that. I wish that it was tied and knotted and it stayed like that the whole time because it's kind of weird to tie it back up yourself. Yeah, so it's like a totally different knot now, but I guess it works. It's pretty cute. Overall, I think I do like it. It's just different than what I had expected. Okay, our next pair of leggings are actually the exact same leggings as the green ones, just in a berry or wine color. I really, really, really like this color. I feel like I already own a pair or two of leggings like in this berry wine family, but hey, if you like it, keep with it. <laughs> if it's not broke, don't fix it. Same fit, same feel. Um, I don't know if it's just me where these are hitting, but it's not the most attractive. It's pinching a little bit on the sides, so I wish it wasn't doing that, or I'm just like getting really blocky, one of, the, one of the two, but very comfortable feel, like second skin feel, which is really nice in leggings, and a really lovely color. Oops, and my shirt just came undone. So that is another drawback of these shirts not staying uh, tied. Ooh. So yeah, a third style of tying this knot for this crop top shirt. So a little bit difficult, I would say, with this shirt. I don't want it to just come undone in the middle of the class or in the middle of working out or whatever. But as for these leggings, really pretty color. They are high rise, really nice feel. Overall for $19.90, this is definitely something I could get behind. Okay, this is the second sports bra that I got. It is black, also low impact. Also got this in a medium. Again, nice detailing on the back, or it's a strappy back, so that's something I like. I don't want just a plain sports bra. I think this one feels a lot better. It doesn't feel as snug. It's a lot more comfortable. I don't know if I would reserve this, though, for laying around the house. I would want to work out in this bra because I think it's really cute and it is really comfortable at the same time. I don't have a lot going on up top, so working out in a low impact bra is something that doesn't bother me. That's something that I can do. Plus, I do a lot of just weight training, so I guess I'm not doing a lot of high impact work. It's not like I do a lot of hit or plyometrics or anything like that. I like where this hits me. It makes it more of a crop top sports bra, which is something I can definitely get behind. I think with high-waisted leggings, this right here isn't too much skin, so you could go to a cycle class, a boxing class, or just hang out in your garage, or wherever you work out, and you would be totally okay. So I definitely like this bra. This is a winner for me. Okay, this is our last pair of leggings, and it is a lot different than the other two. I believe this is a fold-over legging. I don't own any fold over leggings. I've actually never even tried a fold over <laughs> legging on before. It is a bit different. It would go past like this is how high it would go. So obviously it's not just meant to be this high waisted. So you fold that over. I guess you can choose for yourself how high or low waisted you want that to be. So that's kind of nice. The material of these is much more cottony feeling. Those other two had a more performance wicking feel to them and even the periwinkle the first pair of leggings we tried on was a little bit more active wear feeling these feel like they would be really good and really comfortable and i probably will use them to just lounge around the house in but i don't know how much i'd really want to squat or sweat in these i just think that they would collect and keep and hold on to a lot of sweat which is just not something that is comfortable no matter where you work out or what you're doing but I do find them to be really comfortable. They're just loungy pants, fold, loungy fold over waist pants. I don't know what to say about that. Um, color is like a red berry, more red than berry compared to those other pair of leggings that we just had on. But for $12.90, I think I can feel okay about keeping these to lounge around the house in and not working out in. <laughs> Okay, I feel very much like Christmas right now, and obviously this outfit doesn't really match, but I just needed something to put this sweatshirt on. I got one 
crop top sweatshirt. I'm always wearing a sweatshirt out in the garage in the beginning of my workout because it's freezing. I like this idea because it's kind of both on and off at the same time. I'm really liking that there are thumb holes. I think that's awesome <laughs> from Forever 21. I think this is cute, even honestly, even with this red. It might be Christmas, but if it was Christmas, I would be really on theme. So I'm gonna roll with it even now, Christmas in spring. I like this. I think this is actually maybe my favorite thing that I've tried on today. I think it's a nice length. Even with my sports bra underneath, I feel really protected. So you could go into cycle class maybe with this on. And then if you're not super confident, you could wait until the lights turn off and then take off your crop top sweatshirt and just have your sports bra on. Always an option. Or if you're just like having a bad day, maybe, you know, dipping your toes into the shirtless workout scene. But I really like this. It's comfortable, great length feels I just I'm about it okay I don't know what else to say this is like a minty green color which is a favorite color of mine so I am very very happy with how this crop top sweatshirt turned out okay I'm really not sure how much I like having to tie this shirt myself because I already tied it and it came undone and whatever so that's kind of a lot more work than I really wanted to put into it but I put back on the green leggings performance feel leggings to show you the final shirt I got which is still the same shirt but in a different color I do really like the berry wine color of this I think it would be a better like summertime shirt with shorts or jeans or whatever when you're just walking around hanging out whatever than it would be for working out because it's just gonna collect a lot of sweat. It's gonna smell really quickly. So I think that would be a waste of your money, especially if you are trying to keep that budget in mind. I really like the colors of everything that I tried on. It definitely looked like that online and came looking like it did online. So I am really happy about that. I think that's a huge win. It is as advertised. I just think for how much you're paying though, like you wanna keep that in mind because I don't think this is the best performance wear or active wear I've ever tried on, but if this was all I could afford, if this was what my budget called for, then this would definitely work. There's no reason why you couldn't work out in any or all of these clothes that I've tried on today. Overall, I think this was a really good haul. I think the sizing is pretty spot on. The periwinkle leggings were a little bit small, but they had a middle seam that was a little bit different than the other leggings, so I guess I would just keep that in mind. I think the bras are really pretty, and even the low impact of them would still be workable for those of us who have maybe a smaller chest region, like myself. And I'm just a huge, huge fan. I'm probably gonna go back online and look for more of these crop top sports bra, uh, crop top sweatshirts, because I am just, I have no words. I'm really blown away, I really like that. I would definitely wear that out. I think that's super cute, I love that. I think post-workout, this would be a great, great option to have on you. And just overall, I'm really happy with how this haul went. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you go out and try some Forever 21 clothing. Other than that, that's gonna wrap the video up. Make sure you're subscribed, and make sure you have post notifications turned on, and make sure you're following me on Instagram for daily health, wellness, and fitness tips. I'll see you guys next time.